As we move through these videos dedicated to the Bessie sequence, um, I will take an opportunity to review some of the previous shuffles that we've shown you already, okay? And then I will point out clearly which shuffles are new to the video that we're currently presenting. Okay, so as you can see, we have ace through eight of diamonds, okay? So what are some of the shuffles that we've shown you? Well, we've shown you the uh, LR shuffle, just left, right with random stacking, decided by the spectator. Uh, we've also dealt into four piles, like this, with random stacking from left to right or right to left. Uh, we've also dealt into four piles where the stacking can be done in what I call a leap frog fashion. So this is where you move from left to right or right to left, but you can leap over the one next to it in this manner. Leap over that one with random stacking. We've shown you the mange, the over under or the under over. So this is where you just push off the top card and then maybe go over, under, over, under, over, under, over. We've shown you the Australian shuffle, which is a fun one. This is where you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Last one goes on top. We've shown you the Klondike. This is where you take the top and bottom cards off as one. That's the Klondike shuffle. And maybe we'll just do one more. Uh, we've shown you the even and odd up jogs. This is where uh, maybe for an even up jog, you push forward the even position cards, strip those out, and then randomly stack those two halves according to the spectator's request. Okay, so what is the new or are the new shuffles for the video today? Well, it's similar to the four pile shuffle that we just showed you, okay? So normally what we would do for four piles is we would deal from left to right as I've done and then this card would now go on that one. We would also deal the next layer or level from left to right. Well, what we're going to do differently, which gives you a very different ordering of the cards, is we're going to deal this next card on top of this last one that was just dealt. And I call this a reverse LR. And the stacking can be done from left to right or from right to left. In fact, we can even do the leap frog stacking. So notice uh, I've done from left to right. Standard next step would be left to right again, but today we're going in reverse order. So I call it a reverse LR. So why don't we do a leap frog from right to left? This is where you leap over the one next to it. Leap over the one next to it with random stacking here. Okay, well, I think you would have to agree that's a fair amount of mixing there. And now what I'm going to do is essentially just divide the uh, packets into two halves, uh, just in a random fashion, perhaps using my intuition, I suppose. So maybe I'll give you the first one here. So you get that one. Uh, I get this, both of those. I'm a little bit greedy, I guess. That one goes to me. Maybe get those two. And then that gives me four. Make sure I have messed up. Okay, so we both got four. So what cards did each of us receive? Oh, sorry, I'm dropping them over here. What cards did each of us receive? Okay, so you got a six, seven, four, ace. What did I get? I got a two, five, eight, Three. Now, I don't know if that means anything to you, uh, but I do have a written prediction over here on the right. So let's just see what it says here. The card values in each pile will add to A8. A8? What does that mean? 
A H. What in the world does that mean? Do you suppose the A is for ace? And we normally count an ace as a one? Would, would that make sense? So the card values in each pile will add to 18. Is that, is that true? Let's see. So we get one plus four is five. Five plus seven is 12. 12 plus six is 18. <laughs> okay. No, there's no way these add up to 18. Three plus eight is 11, plus five is 16, plus two is 18. The cards in both piles added to 18. Whoa. Okay, so that is a simple effect that you can do if you start with ace through eight and follow the steps that I've gone through and the, the procedures that I've been teaching you in this little mini series, this will always work. Now, of course, it would be really fun, for instance, if the number 18 meant something special to the spectator, like their birthday is on the 18th, or they happen to be 18 years old, or what have you. Um, but you can have the cards add up to any values that you, well, within, <laughs> within reason, any values that you would like. You would have to kind of engineer it that way. Um, but here I just had them add up to 18. So let's show you how that's done.